Hello! I think my camera, I'm not in the center, but whatever. Hi guys! I haven't filmed in like over a year. I got a new camera, by the way. I got the Canon T6i, Rebel T6i. I don't know if they're just T6i. I don't know how to use it. I'm gonna do a review today on the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I'm really excited to review this for you guys because I um, really like it. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. This foundation retails for $14 and it's 0.43 fluid ounces, which is a little bit less than half of what most foundations are. There's 24 shades, however most of the stores, um, at least Ulta and Target, um, only carry about 10 of the shades, which really sucks, but there are 24 shades available. Uh, on the NYX website and on, on online. So on the Ulta website they have the 24 shades and the Target as well, I believe. Not sure about the Target. I bought mine from Ulta. When I bought mine from Ulta, they were having a buy one get one 50% off from NYX. So I got two for about $20. It's marketed as having a velvety matte finish and you're supposed to be able to um, control the amount of coverage that you get by um, the amount of drops that you put. So they market it as being if you want kind of more sheer coverage, just do one drop, drop. And if you want more full coverage, then you just add more drops up to four drops or more, depending on what you want. I would definitely recommend going to the NYX website to help pick out your shade. Um, the Ulta website and the Target website, I don't believe they have any shade descriptions for each individual um, color of the foundations but on the NYX website they have um, the shade description and they have the undertone as well so that's really important because sometimes in a lot of stores it's hard to tell the undertone because the lighting is weird or whatever. Originally I had bought the shade buff which is shade 10 and it says that it is beige with a neutral undertone um, but it you know when I, I purchased it, I wasn't able to tell that it was neutral undertone. Yeah, so I'd really recommend going to their website to see the undertone. So using the website, I purchased three shades of this foundation um, because I'm crazy. I purchased beige, which is my uh, base color. I purchased caramel, which is this little bit darker. And then I purchased mocha, which I wanted to use for contouring. I made sure that all of these shades were either a yellow or olive undertone. I was able to use the NYX website to help me out with that. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about the application. So it comes in like a little dropper bottle and you can um, adjust the number of drops. It's a really buildable foundation so you don't have to worry about it starting to look cakey or anything like that. I would recommend layering in, in thinner layers rather than just putting a lot and blending it that way. Because um, this is a real super liquidy foundation. It can start to take a while to blend. It won't start to look cakey, but um, it can get kind of streaky. It'll blend out eventually, but like as you're doing it, it can kind of take a little bit of a while to blend if you put too much on your face. The coverage is pretty even. It can get a little bit streaky, but blending it in, the coverage is pretty even. Uh, I have super dehydrated skin and it doesn't cling to any dry parts of my face or kind of settle in like the dry parts of my face or anything like that. It stays pretty even and it doesn't get all weird or patchy. It doesn't stick to parts of my face. It blends really nicely. The coverage is pretty good, depend, or considering that it is a pretty liquidy foundation. It, it, I'll show you uh, a patch of my face where I do have a, kind of a lot of hyperpigmentation, how um, just a couple of drops covers it pretty easily. It's super, super lightweight since it is such a thin foundation. It doesn't really feel like anything is on my face throughout the day. And I've worn this foundation for the wear test. I wore it for over nine hours and it didn't start to get cakey or anything like that. Um, and it's super lightweight. It doesn't feel like anything. It doesn't feel like you have makeup on your face. It doesn't feel drying. It feels super comfortable and really nice. I really like the way this foundation feels on my skin. For the wear test, I'm going to show you guys um, while I'm talking. Uh, it doesn't accentuate oil. I have super oily skin. I have dehydrated and oily skin. Normally, with a lot of other foundations that I've tried, sometimes it'll make my face look oilier than it is, or 
than it would normally if I wasn't even wearing foundation. It doesn't do that, which is really nice because my skin gets super, super, like, I can use two blotting sheets on just my nose. My skin gets so oily and it's, my entire face gets oily. Yeah, it doesn't accentuate the oil in terms of how shiny my skin looks and it doesn't like absorb the oil in my face and start to thicken the foundation. It doesn't sink or separate. The pigment stays even across my skin um, and it won't settle into any fine lines or any of the dehydrated skin. Um, if you have dry dehydrated skin, you know, like for me at least, sometimes it'll like the pigment will separate from the foundation and it'll be like really gross looking. This doesn't do that at all. Uh, the coverage stays throughout the day. Um, even it, this foundation doesn't control oils at all. Uh, it doesn't make my face oilier, which I do experience a lot with when I'm wearing foundation. Like my face gets oilier than it normally would or it looks like it does. Um, so even though, you know, it doesn't stop my skin from getting oily, it doesn't diminish any of the coverage or change or move the foundation at all. It stays feeling pretty much the same as it does when I apply it. So the appearance of this foundation, it is a demi-matte finish. It's really, really smooth. It doesn't cling to any patches or any like acne damaged parts of my skin. This color is super, super nice. If you are a person who has a lot of yellow or olive undertones in your skin. So there's not a lot of pink in it, which is pretty rare. Like, I mean, normally when, if, when I walk into a drugstore, I'll just look around and automatically know that none of the colors are gonna match me because they're super pink. This is the closest match that I've ever had. This is basically my favorite foundation that I've ever tried. Uh, I don't try a lot of foundations because I have such a hard time finding good colors for me, but of the foundations that I've tried, this is Pretty much my favorite foundation. This is basically like a foundation that I would make for myself because I don't like full coverage foundations. I prefer sheer coverage. I like a natural finish that it's natural, but it's not dewy. The color is pretty good in terms of the yellowness of it. And it's like, it's not really orange. A lot of the time, even if, it, if, you, if I find a foundation that isn't pink, it's orange. So some of the cons that I have for this foundation, there aren't a lot, honestly. This is a really great foundation. Um, the price for me is uh, the biggest con, honestly. It's $14 for half, not even half of a fluid ounce. And this foundation is super liquidy. So you're gonna, you know, if you need a lot of coverage, you're gonna blow through this foundation really fast. So to me, this is basically a $28 foundation to get the amount of product that you would normally have with a foundation. That doesn't necessarily bother me too much. It doesn't make the foundation like any less appealing. Um, it does kind of suck because I've only used this product five times and I could noticeably see how much product I've used. Um, I feel like the, I don't, I don't, I don't even know if you would get 20 uses out of this foundation for $14, which really sucks because this foundation is so, so nice. If NYX is listening for some strange reason, I would love if either this foundation was increased in size to one fluid ounce or the price was reduced. Um, I would gladly play, pay $14 for this foundation, but you're gonna have to, you know, repurchase it twice as often as you would another foundation if you do use up entire foundations, which I don't. But with this, I do think I'm actually gonna finish it. That's that's the biggest con is that it's fourteen dollars, and you're it's it doesn't it's not gonna last long. And the final con that I have, it's not really a con for me because um, I typically don't really wear foundation for a long time. Um, but this is I this foundation is not really transfer proof. I can definitely tell like if I touch my skin, it's gonna take off some of the foundation. Um, let's go ahead and end. I'm just gonna tap a little bit on my face. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but I just tapped my face a little bit. You can see right there a little bit that the product does come off. Um, and I was just tapping, I wasn't rubbing or anything. So it is not transfer proof. So if that is important to you, then I would definitely keep that in mind. I guess if you like have kids or something or you know a partner of some kind that you're like something if things touch your face a lot um it might disturb the makeup also this is the third time that i've filmed this uh review because i talk too much and i'm like i don't want to edit through all of this me just going rah, 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 rah. so i actually wrote down everything that i wanted to say so that i would not do that <laughs> yeah that's all i have to say for this review um i definitely recommend this product 
um, for for anyone to try. Maybe not if you like super full coverage foundations, but um, for people who like really natural foundation that does actually have pretty good coverage, definitely, definitely recommend it. And that's all I have to say. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys uh, like the camera upgrade and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye.